Hey everyone, I had a lot of requests from my quick bronze eye face of the day to show you how to do this look. It's not exactly the same. One thing I've learned about hair is it never turns out exactly the same. There's so many factors. The products you use, the humidity in the air, the hair gods, whims, whatever it is, but this is the general look, so if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Hmm. Okay, so many of you requested a tutorial on my hair and the quick bronze eye tutorial, which wasn't really a tutorial, but face of the day, I guess. And I'm going to attempt it, and hopefully at the end of this I will shoot the beginning of this video, so it will, this video will have started with the end result. But um, I just want to tell you how I got to this point. So what I did <clears throat> was I washed my hair, which is a huge event at my house. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I washed my hair with the L'Oreal Eversleek shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for a while now. And, and by a while, I mean, what, a month, month and a half. And then got out of the shower, put it in a towel, <clears throat> did my makeup, got dressed, put on lotion, all that stuff. Then I uh, took the towel out and I did a number of steps. So I am not saying that you have to use any of these products. Use what is most similar to them that you already have. It's silly to run out and buy new stuff. Mostly because what works for me might not work for your hair type. I have colored processed hair that is not fine but abundant. It's not thick. There's just a lot, a lot, a lot of hair and um, it's very dry. So pick the products that work for you. So what I started with was a leave-in mist. I got this at Sally's. It's the Leave-In uh, Miracle 7 or 7 Mir Miracle 7. And it's the Leave-In Mist. It's Miracle 7 for heavenly hair. And this is a total knockoff of It's a 10. I can't compare it to It's a 10 because I've never used it. But I've been using this and I like it. I like the smell. And supposedly it detangles, stops hair breakage, repairs dry damaged hair, prevents split ends, seals and protects color, controls frizz, and adds shine. I don't know if it does any of those things. I haven't been using it long enough to tell you, but I like it. So I spray, I sprayed it all over my hair, combed it through. Then I followed up with the Eversleek Hydrating Leave-In Cream, or what is this called? No, Humidity Defying Leave-In Cream. And I did two pumps and emulsified and then just basically did this and ran it through my hair and ran it all over and then oh I'm sorry that's not what I did I did two pumps of this and then I did a squirt of this this is Charles Worthington London big waves definition cream for defined wavy super shiny full hair use whatever wave defining cream that you may have this is about a gajillion years old I don't even remember I don't even know if it still works. There should probably be an expiration date on this. Anyway, so I take that back. I did two pumps of this, a good squirt, like quarter size squirt of this, rub that together, and then put it all through my hair. And then, as if that was not enough product, I got out my trusty Moroccan oil, and I did about the size of the cap, about that diameter, rub that in my fingers, and just kind of did it on the ends. Just kind of did that and then I have a couple layers so I want to make sure that everything was in there and then that was it I let it dry by itself for a while sorry about that right I'll be checking in okay so I let it dry air dry while I was just doing things around the house maybe 20 minutes and then I got this stuff um, it says when hair is slightly damp to put this in you kind of just have to judge it. I wouldn't put this in when it's sopping wet, and I wouldn't put it in when it's totally dry either. This is the Garnier Fructis Style Surf Hair Texturizing Spray. I'm sure it's like Bumble and Bumble or any of those other ones, except this is a significantly cheaper. I don't even know if they still make this. Again, another product I've had in the cabinet for ages and ages, and I just sprayed that all over and lift it up and did all that, and that's it. Then I left the house, I went and got a pedicure, which was amazing. Um, I haven't gotten a pedicure since Thanksgiving, before Thanksgiving, it's been a long time. So my bottoms and my feet are nice and smooth again. Anyway, so this is what we're left with, which is kind of a mess, I'm looking at it in the mirror. This is how, what I was trying to explain. So I have these kind of nice straightish waves here, which are wonderful, I like those. And then I have these kind of tighter ringlet not ringlets, but more defined waves here, which are also nice. 
I just wish that I would have one or the other, not both. So once it's all dry, now I'm going to go back and curl it. And I'm not going to show you that because it's like watching paint dry, but I will show you what I use. I use a Con Air, and I think this is a one and a half inch, probably, maybe even a two, but I think it's a one and a half inch. And um, what I do is I do it in sections, so I'll pull back everything from about below my ears, and I would put that up with a clip or something. And then I will take a piece. I found that the key is a smaller piece. So a piece about that big I would take. And don't, I'm trying to think how to explain this. Don't start from here and wind it up. Start from up here. I have to look in the mirror. So I apologize for not looking directly at you guys. So start here and away. See, I bend it away. And you kind of have to let go of the clamp a little bit. And you just start twisting. And you kind of have to work somewhat quickly or you will burn your hair. So you just keep twisting back and letting a little fall through and a little fall through. And then just let it go. Did that even work? No. And do that all the way around. And obviously when you get to the other side, go away. Bend your wrist away. And then once you're done with that layer, if you want to um, have it hold spray it with some hairspray first, then let down. I usually do another layer like right at the temples, whatever comes down, and then the back. And especially with this upper part, I just, I don't, I curl up and away so that it goes away from my face. This is possibly the worst hair tutorial ever. But that's all that I did, and it worked great, obviously. My hair, I've never had it work out that well before. And today is really humid, so I don't know if it's going to work out again. But I'm going to go give it a try, and... Uh, I'll come back and let you know how it works. I'll be right back. Or not. Okay, I can so here's the it. final look. I just pinned up various sections like I showed you before and curled them back. And then as I finished each, se each section, I sprayed it with hairspray. My suggestion is a flexible hold. I like the Tresemme one particularly well. I really like Aveda Air Control, but it's crazy expensive for hairspray. So go with the cheap stuff. It all pretty much works the same. Um, so it doesn't look exactly, exactly the same, but it's the same general idea. My biggest uh, advice to you is to go slowly, don't rush through it, and if you want more defined waves, which these aren't as defined as they were last time, definitely take smaller chunks of hair. I don't want to start messing this up, but um, you know, no more than an inch. And then once they're hairsprayed and cooled, just run your fingers through to kind of combine them. And, um, and that's it. And uh, this is what it looks like pulled back. Not much. And this is what it looks like pulled forward. So it's not the fastest hairstyle. It takes a good, well, you have to let your hair air dry. And then it takes a good 15 minutes or so at least to do this. But it's a fun look. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you work. it works for you. And... If you try this and it works out for you, will you try posting it either as a video response or tweet me a picture of it or post on my Facebook page. I really want to see how it looks. It's, it's really fun to, um, to see you guys too. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.